betrayal. In my evangelic trip to Mozambique I had visions that need to be shared, I arranged and put all details in order so as not to skip anything, so I want to talk to you about that, it all started when my spiritual eyes open, I looked out and I saw this plane that was so big in the sky, this plane looked like it was falling because it was going up and down. It was making movement that modern plane don't do, like an unidentified flying object, it behaved like that doing did a lot of Z, it was going down and going up, in truth the plane was really weird because I had never seen a plane like that, I asked myself what kind of plane is this, for it was like a house it was really a weird plane, it was big and white, the size of a mansion, I saw that the plane passed close to my house, I told everyone who was with me in the compound let's go in the house and close the door, I feel like something serious is going to happen in this place. When we had entered the house and closed the door, at that moment I saw that the plane had landed before my house, I look and saw many people descending from this strange plane, these people seems like army troops and they were many, these troops came out of the big plane and suddenly I saw a young man who was with injuries and pains as if he had been tortured, and the Lord gave me to understand these soldiers wanted something from the young man they have been torturing, they wanted him to say something. The young man that was bruised walked towards my house, at that moment I understood in my spirit that the wanted person that they were looking for was me, the Lord revealed that what I was seeing was the persecution of Christians, in particular those who preach total holiness on YouTube, I started to get a picture and everything was clear in my head that they were persecuting Christians, especially Christians who preach truths and sound doctrine that sanctify the saints on YouTube. Thus began a special persecution and this persecution was so strong that I hid behind the door, and then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, something big and serious is about to happen to the earth, it will be so serious that it will affect many people, especially Christians, at that time there will be many betrayals and falsehoods, it was made known to me that the tortured young man was a former YouTube preacher, he was supposed to show these soldiers where I was. Initially he refused to denounce and tell them where I dwell, that's why he was in pain he was tortured for he was trying to hide my location, this young man came to where I was hiding in the house and told the soldiers, Helder Flavio Lumba who preached in YouTube is here, his house is here, previously he tried not to show them but he changed his mind and bit Rami, many betrayals would happen when persecution begin, many people will betray each other. Matthew chapter 24 verse 10 And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another, and because iniquity abounds the love of many will grow cold, there is a lot of falsehood in the middle of the church, people will give you hugs, they will stay by your side but they will also expose you and say things about you, which is a sign of the end of times, be careful with people you are around because there are many snakes that's what the Lord spoke to me and made me understand about the vision, he was showing me this because there will be persecution and betrayal, brethren this plane was like an extraterrestrial, at first the plane seems like they're doing an extraterrestrial manipulation on earth and taking many people, but they were persecuting shepherds, for a new law was passed against these pastors that preach original gospel content on YouTube and others platforms, in that time there will be a lot of Judas in the last generation, choose your friends well, I saw that that young man who was next to me was a young man who I believed I could trust, but he was the one who brought the police to arrest me because, I was a preacher of truth, already many other preachers were persecuted. Then in another vision I saw a shepherd in YouTube preparing traps for me and many people, this pastor arrived on YouTube and his mission was just to talk about other pastors creating gossip, this pastor intention was to destroy and do harm to many other pastors on the platform, and the Lord told me my son many pastors on YouTube platforms are at the service of Satan, others conscious and others unconscious, be careful who you are listening to, be careful who you are receiving messages from. There are messages that are distorted truth, but many pastors who preach the truth on YouTube will be betrayed and denounced. They will be slandered, others will fall and die spiritually because God showed me traps. I saw many traps that Satan prepared even in my ministry. The first trap are people that the enemy has placed around leaders, even people I trust people and believe in. They were taking information to the government, 
they infiltrate the church like a sheep staying close to an assistant pastor or pastor, I can say that this is a level of betrayal that is too high, I want to warn all shepherds be careful with the sheep you keep close to you, be careful with sheep that you trust because in my vision these were the same people who were providing information to the government, Satan is placing snare to destroy all the pastors who preach the truth in social network, they are Satan's traps against God's servant, these are trap of women, trap of money, of traps of infiltration and political issues, to cause them to seek their own interest, the people will approach the church of pastors with evil interests, with evil intentions, people with negative background will come, these people will be able to destroy many churches and shepherds thus says the Lord to the nations.